Well, I haven't updated my vlog in a while, so I thought it was overdue for an update. Let's see what's going on. I just recently made some online purchases at abooks.com. I'd like to highly uh, recommend slash plug that website. It's A as an alpha, B as in beta, E as an epsilon, books.com. The Abe stands for Advanced Book Exchange. If you're looking for an alternative to Amazon, it features high quality used books. Check it out. You've probably already heard of it if you do your homework in Google. Anyway, what I got was um, two novels by John Fant, or Font, F-A-N-T-E. Uh, Bukowski was a big uh, admirer of his work. Font was God to him, as he quotes. And uh, one of the novels uh, has a foreword written by Bukowski. And um, the outfit Black Sparrow Press at Bukowski... Uh, wrote for like the you know there's this famous story where John Martin the founder of Black Sparrow gave Bukowski a hundred dollars a month for life if he quit his post office job anyway Black Sparrow published republished some of Font's works to give it wider exposure and he's one of those folks who's like coming into wider and wider readership and critical acclaim after he's died anyway Font wrote a series of novels called the Bandini Quartet I believe um, and one of them is Enter the Dust, and another one something like Bandini in Spring, and I've gotten those two. There's another that was only published uh, posthumously uh, after Font died, and I can't remember the title of it. And even though chronologically, like within the trilogy, within the quadrilogy, let's see if I can get four fingers up there. Yeah, hi. So this book that was published posthumously, it might have come first chronologically, but it was published last. Uh, and the others. So I figured I would read the ones that were published first and go in like publication order rather than chronological order or the order in which they were written because I think that one that was published after he died was actually written uh, before some of the other two. Anyway, what else did I order? Uh, also ordered a nonfiction book of essays by David Foster Wallace, author of Infinite Jest, the postmodern classic, if we can apply those two terms together without being oxymoronic. Uh, it's a supposedly fun thing I'll never do again from 1997. The article had an excerpt on Wikipedia that I loved about the professional smile and when he went into like the part about McSilly and the tightening of muscles and using all the technical terms, I knew I'd have to get it um, working in customer service as I do. I need to read as much about that as possible because I do like to uh, try to be subtle about showing my contempt when I'm not tipped. Anyway, it's coming up close here on Thursday morning now. I hope everybody's excited for St. Pauti's Day. That's coming up. Uh, I'm supposed to go to a party. Maybe that'll be fun. I was thinking I'd buy some Jamesons. I might want to make a run on that before it's uh, all gone from the shelves at the grocery store. Uh, if you want to celebrate St. Patty's with Irish beer and they don't have Guinness, always look for Heart. It's a... Uh, Guinness is kind of sister beer, it's lighter cousin, and it uh, it's also from Ireland, so that works. Well, I really don't have too much more to report on this front. I did find some cool pennies that I'll show, although you probably won't be able to read the dates. Two of these puppies here are from the nineteen or night from nineteen twenty, and the other is a nineteen twenty seven D. The nineteen twenty seven D is actually the most valuable. If it's listed in the lowest graded condition, G4, it's worth about a buck. Woo! hundred times, you know, it's a pretty good return on your investment. Um, right now I'm still reading Life Before Man by Margaret Atwood. I've gotten a couple of other books that, I read, that I've written down as a note to myself to get next time I go to the library. I'm interested in re trying to read the difficult book Infinite Jest. I couldn't really get through much of it, to be honest with you, the first time. And also taking another look at uh, White Noise, which I believe is by Daniel Papillon or Papillon or something. Sounds like the French word for butterfly. Well, I really don't have that much else to say right now. Um, I'm looking forward to Jazz Fest still. I haven't contacted my cousin about it. I need to text him soon. But uh, if I do that, maybe I could get a camera at some point and shoot some footage of Jazz Fest to post my vlog. Well... On that note, I am going to sign off two days before St. Patty's Day. I will post afterwards and 
create a boring blog about my experiences at that party where the names will be changed to protect the innocent and the guilty.